Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Do you want to learn English with songs? Let's talk about 11 songs that are awesome for learning about English. For me, when I listen to songs, I feel energized and excited. I feel optimistic about life. And I hope that this is the same for you, especially when you listen to music in English, because there's times in your English journey when you feel down, you feel like you're not going anywhere, you're not improving. And I hope that music, especially the songs that I'm gonna share with you today, will help to boost your spirits and also help you to get comfortable speaking and using English. So why are songs good for learning English? Well, a lot of songs use multiple verb tenses, expressions, phrasal verbs, idioms, a lot of useful daily language, and they help you to speak if you're willing to sing. <laughs> so if you are willing to sing along with the chorus, sing along with the singer, you're gonna be able to use English. You didn't need to make the sentences yourself, so you're just able to speak and imitate and hopefully have this positive, optimistic attitude. Before I share these 11 songs with you, I want to address a question that I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, Vanessa, English songs are so fast. How in the world can I understand each of the words? Well, I have a couple suggestions. First of all, you can look up the lyrics. Lyrics are the words of the song. Look up the lyrics on Google, even print them out if you want, listen to them, read them, try to follow along as the singer is singing. Or on YouTube, there are a lot of versions of the songs that include lyrics. So the lyrics will follow as you're watching the video and that's really helpful. Even if you just memorize the chorus, the chorus is the part that repeats a lot again and again. If you just memorize the chorus, you're already using English, you're speaking, you're using those muscles and that's so valuable. The first four songs that I'm gonna share with you are older songs. That doesn't mean that if you grew up with these songs, you are old. It just means that they're not from the past 10 years. They're older than 10 years. And then the next four songs are more poppy, more current songs that came out in the last 10 years. And then the final three songs are just some miscellaneous songs that I thought would be useful to include. You can find the links to all of these. They're YouTube videos, my preferred YouTube video. You can find them in the comments so that you can watch every single one of these songs. And that's my challenge for you to choose one or all of these, spend some time feeling happy and using English. My first recommendation is Billy Joel's song, Uptown Girl. In this song, you're gonna learn some great expressions like get a choice, get tired of, fall in love with someone. These are just daily life expressions, but this music is kind of like 1950s style, but it was made in the 1980s. So it has some really great catchy tunes, catchy chorus, and I hope that it will help you with your English. The second song that I recommend is from a band that is considered the most important for helping English learners learn English. Can you guess what band that is? It's the Beatles. I could have a full video giving you recommendations for Beatles songs, but I realized that a lot of people already know the Beatles, so I chose one that I think is really important, and that is We Can Work It Out. It's short, fun, it includes a great phrasal verb, we can work it out, and you're gonna feel like you can repeat these songs again and again because it's gonna repeat some of the same words. You're gonna learn expressions like time can tell. I hope that this will help you to add to your vocabulary. My third recommendation is Leonard Cohen's song, Hallelujah. In the description of this video, I actually didn't include his version. I included a pentatonix version because I feel like this is maybe a little more modern sounding, it's full of energy, and it's your choice which one you think is better. But I wanted to include this song because there are a lot of great verbs, and also the style of speaking is slow, but it, it's still filled with energy. So you're gonna learn a lot of great verbs, and also you're gonna hear the present perfect a lot. I've walked, I've seen, I've gone. You're gonna hear that, and I hope that these, all of these songs really will include verb tenses that are gonna feel more comfortable to you after you listen to the songs. 
My fourth and final recommendation for somewhat older songs is from Queen, Somebody to Love. Every time that I listen to Queen, I get so much energy and I always think, why don't I listen to Queen more often? For some reason, this is the perfect style of music for me. So I tried to choose a song that wasn't too challenging, but it also had some great things that you can use for learning English. And in this song, they repeat the question again and again, can anybody find me somebody to love? So here you're gonna practice question sentence structure. And even though the words are a little tough, I recommend checking out the lyrics and trying to follow along, even if you just sing the chorus. This is gonna give you a lot of energy and I hope positive feelings about English. My fifth recommendation comes from my pop song recommendations that are a little more modern. This one is Jason Mraz's song, I'm Yours. Unfortunately, Dan does not like this song, my husband, so he didn't want me to include it in this list, but I feel like he speaks so clearly that it's great for pronunciation. If you can repeat the chorus, it's gonna help your speaking muscles. So even though some people don't like this song, I hope that you'll enjoy it and I hope that you'll be able to repeat these words as well. I do wanna let you know that he includes a grammar mistake in the chorus. And this is pretty typical and I wanna to try to explain why maybe he chose to use a mistake. In English, it's not a good idea to use a double negative. That means two negative words in the same sentence. But he says, I won't hesitate no more. And here he's using the word not and no. So there's two negatives. Technically, he should say, I won't hesitate anymore. But he's a songwriter, so we say that he has poetic license. He can do what he wants if it makes him feel more comfortable and it makes the song flow better to have a mistake. Okay, whatever, but I wanted to let you know that he is including this and native speakers when they listen to that song they'll recognize it as a mistake but it's a song so we kind of are a little more flexible when it comes to songs and grammar. It needs to rhyme, it needs to feel good and he just chose to use this. My sixth recommendation is Pharrell Williams' Happy. This song is really popular, and if you can memorize the chorus, sing, sing, sing. Try to sing it as much as possible because not only is it fueled with optimism, but it also repeats a lot of the same words, so I hope that they will stick with you. And that fixed sentence structure will help you to build on your own sentence structure that you already know in English. That's what songs are great for. There's a fixed sentence structure and you're just repeating it, but hopefully having a good time. I wanna let you know that in his song, he also uses a mistake, and it's the same mistake that you saw in the previous song. It's a double negative. Here, he's just using his poetic license to have the song feel the way he wants, but he says, can't nothing bring me down. Here we have not and nothing, two negatives, but really it should be nothing can bring me down. We're taking out not, but he uses it and he thinks that it's gonna feel good in the song and he's the artist. It's his choice, right? <laughs> The seventh song that I recommend is also a pop song and it's kind of my guilty pleasure song. Guilty pleasure means that I'm a little bit embarrassed that I like this song, but it's just so fun. I can't help it. It is Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. I'm sure you've heard this song. There are plenty of parodies on YouTube. That means that people took the same idea for the song but added different words and it's perfect for that kind of thing. But in this song, you're gonna learn a lot of great expressions. So she uses a lot of phrasal verbs and daily life expressions that I hope will be useful to you. Some examples are just, or look right at someone, or came into my life. These are phrasal verbs and daily life expressions. The eighth pop song is the ultimate pop song. It is Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. And of course, you're gonna learn the phrasal verb, shake off something, 
but this includes a lot of repetition, so it's perfect for pronunciation. The chorus of the song repeats the same words again and again and again. Play, 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 play. Hate, 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 hate. She repeats these words, so I hope it will help your pronunciation and also your sentence structure and hopefully your optimism too. The idea of this song is if someone is hating what you're doing, don't worry about it, shake it off. So this is a great idea for English. If you make a mistake, poof, shake it off. Don't worry about it, feel better about it, and forget it, shake it off. The final three songs are in an other category. They're not really older songs, they're not really pop songs, but I wanted to include them today. The first one is the song Jolene, and I added the version that Miley Cyrus sings, but Dolly Parton was the original singer of this song. This song is a country song and it's about revenge and jealousy, kind of the opposite of happy and shake it off is about revenge and jealousy. You're gonna learn a lot of great descriptions of people. They're describing a woman in this song with auburn hair and ivory skin. So you're gonna learn these adjectives and also ways to describe someone. My 10th recommendation is Ed Sheeran's song, Perfect. This song has a lot of words, but he speaks clearly. It's a kind of slow love ballad, but it's also filled with energy and positivity. He uses some great expressions that native speakers use a lot, such as whisper underneath my breath or fight against all odds. These are kind of like idioms, but they're more like daily expressions. So through this song, I recommend watching either the lyrical video or looking at the lyrics on a paper and really going over these and singing with it, trying to feel passionate with this song. My final and 11th recommendation comes from the internationally loved band Maroon 5. It is the song This Love. There are also a lot of words in this song, like the previous Ed Sheeran song, but you can do it. This song is infused with a lot of energy, and he uses some great expressions, such as, take a toll on me. This is something that might be new for you, so when you encounter new expressions like this, I recommend looking them up, asking someone, researching, trying to use this and find out what it means, because you're gonna get a bigger picture of the song, and then when you hear it, Sing along with it. You can use it yourself, and it's a great way to use new expressions. All right, my challenge for you is to check out some of the links for these songs, listen to as many as possible, and choose one that you can look at the lyrics and try to repeat after them. This is a great way to shadow, but also have some positive energy around English. Hopefully it will boost you. Maybe it will give you a boost in the morning when you're getting ready. Hopefully it will help you to feel positive and optimistic about your English journey because I know it's not always easy. So songs are a great way to pick up your spirits. Choose one of these. Let me know in the comments which one of these would you like to listen to? Do you have any other songs that you'd like to recommend to other people to listen to? Thanks so much for learning with me and I'll see you the next time. Bye. The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.